When it comes to your health, the status quo is not working. Too many people are waiting too long to get an appointment or surgery, having to travel too far to get care, and spending too much time trying to navigate our healthcare system. We cannot accept this. We won't. We need to be bold, innovative, and creative. We need to build on the spirit of collaboration on display across the healthcare sector. We need to have the courage to look to other provinces and countries and borrow the best of what the world is already doing. And we need to be clear. Ontarians will always access the health care they need with their OHIP card, not their credit card. Our goal is to make health care more convenient for Ontarians by connecting you to care closer to home. We will do this by increasing access to services and health care settings near you. As announced last week, pharmacists can now prescribe medication for 13 of the most common ailments without a doctor's appointment. This also means building more hospitals and new long-term care homes in your community. And it also means cutting wait times for services like MRI and CT scans and cataract surgeries. This year, we've invested $300 million as part of our surgical recovery strategy to help us clear the COVID-19 surgery backlog so you can get the care you need faster. This strategy helped Ontario hospitals operate on evenings and weekends to ensure as many patients as possible received the care they needed. However, Ontarians are still waiting too long for their treatment for surgery and more needs to be done. Community surgical and diagnostic centres have been valuable partners towards our pandemic response and addressing the surgical backlog. That is why we are taking further action and releasing a three-step plan. A plan that speeds up how quickly people are able to get publicly funded surgeries and procedures using their health card. Step one will urgently address the existing backlog for cataract surgeries, which has one of the longest wait times. New partnerships with community surgical and diagnostic centres in Windsor, Kitchener-Waterloo and Ottawa will add 14,000 additional cataract surgeries that will be performed each year. This number represents up to 25% of the province's current cataract wait list and accounts for the estimated COVID-related backlog of cataract surgeries. We are also investing more than $18 million in existing centres to cover care for thousands of patients, including more than 49,000 hours of MRI and CT scans, 4,800 cataract surgeries, and thousands of other procedures. This bold action will help us clear the entire pandemic, pandemic backlog for these procedures by March of this year. Step two, we'll see the scope of community surgical and diagnostic centres expanded to address needs on a local level with a continued focus on cataracts as well as MRI and CT imaging and colonoscopy and endoscopy procedures. This will help allow hospitals to focus their efforts and resources on more complex and high-risk surgeries. Step three will see the introduction of legislation in February that, if passed, will allow existing community diagnostic centres to conduct more MRI and CT scanning so that people can access publicly funded diagnostic services faster and closer to home. This next step will also expand surgeries for hip and knee replacements starting in 2024. <coughs> If passed, this legislation would strengthen oversight of community surgical settings so that patients can continue to receive the health care they deserve and provide the province with more flexibility to continue to expand access to more surgeries and further reduce wait times. As we work to shorten wait times, Ontario Health will ensure that these centres are included in regional health system planning. We will also continue working with our health system partners to ensure that this truly is an expansion of services and that staffing resources remain available at our publicly funded hospitals. 
This plan will boost the availability of publicly funded health services in Ontario, ensuring that Ontarians currently waiting for specialized surgeries will have greater access to world-class care where and when they need it. Bold solutions are necessary to improve the healthcare system as we know it today. Receiving an early diagnosis or a surgery earlier than expected can have a life-altering impact on a patient's life and treatment path, which is why we will continue to work hand-in-hand -hand with our partners to make it easier and faster for you to receive the surgeries and treatments you need when you need it. It's time we put you back in charge of your health. Thank you, stay well, and I'll now pass it over to Premier Ford. Well, well said, Minister. Well, good morning, everyone. And before I begin, I'd like to express my condolences on the passing of former Lieutenant Governor David Onley. He was a man of great integrity who served our province with honour. All of Ontario is thinking of his wife, Ruth Ann, and his entire family. Now, thank you, Terry, for hosting us today. It's great to be here at Kensington Health. Let me say thank you to you and your entire team, not only for hosting us today, but for everything you do to help keep people healthy. I also want to welcome Anthony Dale, President and CEO of the Ontario Hospital Association. Anthony and his members, the CEOs of Ontario's hospitals, have been and continue to be amazing partners. So thank you so much for all your hard work, Anthony, and all of the CEOs. I'm a big, big fan of uh, all of them. Over the past several years, community health care centers across the province have been amazing partners, performing approximately 26,000 surgeries and procedures annually helping to reduce pre- and post-pandemic surgical backlogs. We're so grateful for all the work they do, keeping people and communities safe and healthy. The past several years also taught us, when it comes to your health, the health of all Ontarians, the status quo is no longer acceptable. We need to be bold, we need to be innovative, we need to be creative. We need to look to other provinces and countries to see what they do differently and borrow the best ideas. We also need to be clear, Ontarians will always access health care with their OHIP card, never their credit card. Our goal is simple, whether it's an emergency in the middle of the night or a problem that's been bothering you for years, no matter where you live, we want to connect you to more convenient care closer to home. Together, we've come so far. Since 2018, over 60,000 new nurses and nearly 8,000 new doctors have registered to work in Ontario. In fact, last year was a record-breaking year for new nurses in Ontario, with over 12,000 new nurses registered and ready to work and another 30,000 nurses studying at a college or university, providing a pipeline of talent and reinforcements. We've always added 3,500 hospital beds with another 3,000 more under construction. We're helping 30,000 more seniors find a long-term care home, with another 30,000 seniors being able to live in upgraded long-term care home beds. We've invested over $300 million in hospitals for more surgeries, as well as MRI and CT scans. But when it comes to your health, we must do more, and we're doing more. Today, we're taking action to reduce wait times for surgeries. We're expanding community surgical and diagnostic centers so you can get surgeries you need faster and closer to home. To start, we're tackling the backlog of cataract surgeries, where we have some of the longest waits. With new partnerships with community, surgical, and diagnostic centers in Windsor, Kitchener, Waterloo, and Ottawa, we're adding 14,000 more OHIP insured cataract surgeries every single year, eliminating approximately 25% of the cataract wait list. And as the minister outlined, we're investing more than $18 million in other centers. 
adding even more surgeries in existing centers like right here at Kensington and doing 49,000 more hours of MRI and CT scans. From there, we're going to continue to expand the role of community sur surgical and diagnostic centers, including by introducing new legislation in February that if passed, will allow us to keep shortening wait times for you and your family, including for hip and knee replacements and foot surgeries. As we do, we're working with the best and the brightest clinical experts to make sure you receive the best possible care. And let me be clear, all of these services, they'll be available using your OHIP card, never your credit card. My friends, as I said before, the status quo is not acceptable. These aren't just numbers. This change, it represents tens of thousands of people, all with a chronic illness, who will now get the surgery they need sooner every year. A lot of people out there, they want to have the endless debates about who should provide care. All I care about, all Minister Jones cares about, all our government cares about, is that you get the care you need quickly and safely. More surgeries, shorter wait times, all paid for by OHIP. Together, we're making it easier, faster, and more convenient for you to connect to care because it's about you, it's about your health. Thank you, and may God bless the people of Ontario. Thank you. Of Global News. Today, Ontario announced they're spending nearly $20 million for for profit clinics for surgeries. If the federal government gives more money to provinces for health care, will you mandate that, that it be spent in the public system? And do you have a problem with provinces using for profit clinics uh, for surgeries and other health care? It is one of the primary responsibilities of the federal government in matters of health care delivery to ensure that the Canada Health Act is always respected. Uh, that's what we're going to continue to watch across the country as uh, people are responding in different ways to delivering uh, better services to, um, to, to Canadians in healthcare. Uh, we know how important it is uh, to continue to invest in our healthcare systems, and I've had some great conversations with a number of premiers, including Premier Ford, and Premier Moe has been working very, very hard uh, uh, as well as part of a small group uh, looking at improving, uh, improving healthcare across the country. And I can say uh, we're all very much on the same page. There is a need for more money. There is a need uh, for more delivery of results uh, for families, uh, whether we're talking about uh, more access to primary care uh, doctors and teams, uh, whether it's quicker access to mental health supports, whether it's uh, reducing the surgery backlog. There are lots of things that we're working on with the provinces, and I, I look forward uh, uh, to being able to uh, announce uh, positive steps forward in the very near future.